Home of the Brave, part four. When the spider webs unite, they can tie up a lion. African proverb. Chapter 65, Herding. When the Saturday comes, Lou is waiting for Ganwar, Hannah, and me in the barn. She sips at her coffee mug. I just wish my trailer hitch hadn't rusted out, she says. We'll be fine, I tell her. Hannah is wearing her school backpack. I brought a map in case we get lost, she says, and some candy bars and water. It's a long way, Lou says in a worried voice. There's a lot of traffic. She shakes her head. Oh, let's focus that. I probably shouldn't be letting you do this. You probably don't have a choice, Ganwar says with a laugh. Maybe I should call ahead and explain things, Lou asks. Sometimes it's better just to walk up to the door and ask, I say. Lou grins. All right. Then Lou, all right then, let's get the show on the road. She gives Goal a kiss. See you, girl. It's been a good ride. I take Goal's halter and off we go. The sun is steady, hand on our shoulders. We walk along the side of the busy road for many steps. Goal and me and Hannah behind us, then Ganwar. When cars race by, they suck the air away. A huge truck grumbles past. Goal doesn't like the whoosh and roar. She stops hard and refuses to go on. I pull, she pulls back. She hates being so close to traffic, I say. I pat Goal and talk to her, and after a while, she agrees to move on. Good girl, I say, relieved. But up ahead, I see trouble is waiting. Chapter 66, Traffic Jam. We reach a crossing of two huge roads. Many lights hang from wires. Cars come and go like frantic ants. Don't worry, Ganwar says. I'll tell you if it's, when it's safe. He turns to Hannah. You sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, she answers. Ganwar watches the lights, then steps into the road. A blue car zooms toward him, horn blaring. He leaps back. We wait a while longer. Then Ganwar dives back into the traffic. Come on, he waves his hand and hurry. We cross three lanes of cars and come to a thin strip of land covered with grass and tiny purple flowers. We've still got three more lanes, Ganwar says. But Goal has decided the purple flowers are a tasty treat. She grazes happily while I yank on her harness. Hannah pushes Goal's rump. Come on, girl, Ganwar cries. The light turns yellow. Hurry, Hannah yells. Goal glances up to see what all the noise is about. She chomps down one last bite. Then she ambles out into the road. The light turns red. We are in the middle of a sea of cars. Honking and shouting hurts our ears. Goal looks at me. As if to say, why is everybody in such a hurry? I pull Hannah and Ganwar, push, and nobody moves. Goal has come to a stop, and so has all of the traffic. That was, let's do one more. Chapter 67, Cops. We are surrounded by cars, but no one is moving. It looks like the parking lot at the mall, only everyone is grouchy. If you don't get that cow off the road, she's going to be lunch meat, kid. A man screams. Look, mommy, a little girl points out her window. Is this a parade? Heading slowly towards us, I see bright lights of red, white, and blue. Great, Ganwar mutters, cops. The car with lights gets stuck in traffic too. A woman and a man in blue soldier clothes make their way through the knot of cars. They have guns on their hips. What's going on here, kids? The policewoman asks. My cow won't move, I explain. It's hard to take my eyes off her gun. Some reason your cow is in the middle of six lanes of traffic on a busy Saturday, the policeman asks. We're going to the zoo, Hannah says. Ganwar covers his eyes and groans. The police can't decide whether to smile or frown. Their mouths are all mixed up. You taking her to see the animals or be one of the animals? The woman asks. Hannah clears her throat. 
Um, she's going to be a new exhibit. Who's going to pay to see this bag of bones? The man asks. She's going to be in the petting zoo, I explain. She likes to have her ears scratched. Go on, try it. Not me, the policeman holds up his hands. I want to get close to one of these. I'll get a value meal with fries. The policewoman holds out her hand and reaches for Goal's ear. Goal leans into her. She likes me, the woman says. Horns blare. Uh, Nora, we got to focus here, the policeman says. She might move now, I say. We'll push and maybe you can pull. This is definitely not part of my job description, the man mutters. We get into position. One, two, three, Ganwar cries. Move. Goal looks behind her. She's pouting a little. She can see she is surrounded. Slowly, she inches forward. Bit by bit, we cross the rest of the road. Cars begin to move again. Some people who drive by use words I haven't learned in ESL class. Oh, I bet they're bad words. It's very dangerous for you kids to be doing this, the woman says, when we reach the other side. Why isn't she in a trailer or something? Who owns this cow anyway? Lou gave me custard, I say proudly. The police just stare. Custody, I correct myself. I pull out a piece of paper Lou gave me. The man examines the paper. He sighs. Well, it's just a few more miles up the road. I suppose we could give you an escort. I don't know what this is, but I can tell that Hannah is excited. Would you keep your lights on, she asks. Lights, but no siren, the woman agrees. We begin our slow, strange herding down the edge of the highway, followed by the police car the red, white, and blue lights. Remind me of the American flag. I feel like the president. If only Lul could be here, I would say to Ganwar. And we laugh a good long haul. Oh, he misses his brother. All right, let's take a break here.